Hey everyone, it's Katie from Katie Scrappy Studio, and I am going to show you, I have done an, a different video on this, but I wanted to show you how to make the basic um, mini envelopes for 3x3 three three cards. And this is what they look like. You can make them out of copy paper, or you can make them out of cardstock. It doesn't matter. Uh, these are actually from uh, a box that I am selling at a craft fair with... Uh, this is the, these are the cards that go with them. So, I'm just going to show you, hopefully real quickly, how uh, to make these. They're very, very simple. Okay. Basically, it's just scoring and cutting, and then gluing. So, it's, it's an easy project. And you can get, I think it's at least two out of one sheet. So, uh, let's see here. First of all, we're going to get our paper trimmer out, and I'm going to cut it long ways at 7 inches, and there's a reason I'm doing it this way, 7 inches, and I did it that way because uh, need, this measurement needs to be 4 and a quarter, so you have 7 inches by 4 and a quarter is what you need, and you can get two envelopes um, without making a second cut. If you do, if you make the uh, your seven inch cut on the long side, so so we got four and a quarter here, and set that aside for my later envelopes, and then I can get my scoring tool, which I'm using the Martha Stewart scoreboard, and then I am going to score it. I call this landscape. Um, if you can see the scoreboard, it's long ways. So, uh, let's see, I'm going to score it at one inch. I know you can't see precisely what I'm doing, but I'm just scoring it at one inch. And then again at four and a quarter inches. Then I'm going to turn it 90 degrees so it's portrait style. So it looks like this. And then I'm going to score it at half an inch. Then I'm going to turn it completely to the other side and score it half an inch on that side so that on both sides I have half an inch. Okay? So we have something that looks like this with my score lines here, 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 and here. So the next step is to go ahead and cut out. You'll see that there are corners where your score lines meet. And you're just going to cut out all of those corners. So we're going to cut out this corner here, this one, so that one's done. Cut that one off too. And with this one, um, actually I'll just go ahead and cut it normally and then I'll show you a, a nice trick so we don't want to confuse you. So again, I'm just cutting the corners off where the score lines meet. When you make your score lines, you'll see these. I want to make this really easy for everybody that hasn't done this, hasn't done anything like this before. Um, and then what I'm going to do is, this is going to be the part of the flap that comes up, and the card is going to go in this way. So I'm actually going to miter the edges right here so that this folds up easier once these are folded in. So uh, that basically just means taking your scissors at this corner and cutting a triangle like that and it doesn't have to be exact at all on either side because you're not going to see it and unless someone takes the envelope apart they're not going to see it either so next I like to take a corner rounder and I like to corner round the edges on all sides here and since I can't um, get my corner rounder, the paper, in because of these right here. I'm actually going to fold these in so that they are out of the way. And then I'm going to round my corners that way. And I'm going to do the same thing so that I can round the tips, or the, not the tips, but the sides here. So, 
a nice, lots of, lots of little corners here to make a mess with. And I'm going to put that away. And then you get your scoring or your bone, bone folder out. You want to make some nice creases. Fold up, and that folds up so much easier because we cut the corners. We miter these edges down here. And then this is going to be the top. So then I am just going to run some hot glue on this on this longest side right across the sides here. Just like that. So we got one and then another. And then I'm going to pull it up, press it down, and voila, we have an envelope. And I use, uh, you can use score tape. Um, and put it on here and then when you're ready to seal it you can pull the the liner off or you can do what I do and use lick and stick and this just um, basically pat it on here to get a good a good amount of glue and then I just kind of smooth it out a little bit that way when people lick the envelopes they're not all bumpy uh, so there you have your envelope and your three by three cards fit perfectly in these. I think these are like three and an eighth. Let me measure these real quick and see because I've never actually measured them. I just know that the cards fit perfectly. Um, oh, they're three and a quarter and they're square, so they're probably going to be three and a quarter again. Yep, three and a quarter by three and a quarter. So they fit your three by three cards just fine and um, they allow for embellishment on the cards so that if they're a little bit dimensional, that's perfectly fine. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope I didn't talk too fast. And I hope everything was easy to understand. And I am, I just became a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, so I'm not going to be overly annoying with it. Um, so, <laughs> I'm going to try not to be. Um, but I will be showing you some new projects with the Stampin' Up! products because I was really impressed when I went to my Uplines house to check out some of the products and I was just so impressed with the quality. Could not believe it. I always wondered why people spent money on Stampin' Up! and now I know why. So um, that's why I'm selling it now because it's a great product. But anyway, um, I'll post a link to my demonstrator website in case you guys are looking for a Stampin' Up! demonstrator to buy from because you, it's cheaper if you buy from a demonstrator than buying from Stampin' Up! directly. And uh, you can find me um, with my website in the link or in the, the link in the description below. So I will put that along with the link to my exhibit store and to my blog. So thank you guys so much for watching. Have a lovely day. Bye.